Hello everybody, welcome to another review. Today I'll be doing a quick little prevention test on Trustport Internet Security Beta 2013 and this is what it looks like. This is payware so you don't get it for free. It comes with all the features. Uh, it's got a non-access scanner, an application inspector which is kind of like a behavior blocker and then it's got an email scanner, parental clock, web scanner, firewall, and of course so you can do a check for updates. And meanwhile, while it's updating, let's take a look at some of the more advanced settings. Okay, so these are some of the more advanced settings. Let's take a look at real-time protection. Everything's just set to stock. I haven't messed with anything now. By default, I think it's set to repair stuff. So we'll leave it that way. We'll leave it the way it's supposed to work and we'll see how it does. Firewall set uh, to use rules and that is good. Web antivirus is enabled and application inspector. Now this is interesting. This is kind of like a behavior blocker and if you set it to secure mode it's automatically going to block all untrusted applications and all applications without digital signature. So you certainly don't want to go into secure mode unless uh, you're really scared because uh, that's just going to block a lot of stuff and a lot of legitimate applications too. In recommended mode, however, it's uh, going to monitor most potentially dangerous applications and it's kind of like going to work like uh, your behavior blocking and access control, there's parental controls, I haven't messed with any of those settings. We'll leave everything the way it is set to work. So, this interface, it's uh, not too bad, not too great either. Let's just take a look at the idle memory usage. It's pretty high from what I've seen. It's 40, 42, around uh, 50, 62. Oh well. It's pretty heavy, it's around using about 65 megs of RAM and I am noticing some system slowdown. So it's not the lightest, uh, it's pretty heavy, so now let's see how it does on protection. I don't really care how it protects us, uh, these are online threats, these are all zero day malware. I'm just going to run some of these and see if uh, Trustport can protect us. I don't really care much about how it does that, whether it gets it by the signatures or by with the zero day component. I just want these things blocked. Isn't it? Okay, so first one was blocked. Trust port data security virus infection found. Nice little alert and uh, so this one got cut. Okay, it was pretty high detection rate. I expected it to catch it. Let's try this low detection rate, potentially unwanted pro program. Can't really say if this is a piece of malware because it's got such a low detection rate. Most probably isn't, but uh, anyway. This Trojan dropper most probably is a false positive. Just one Trojan dropper should be caught by a lot more engines, but we'll try it out anyway. Doesn't look like a Trojan dropper, so I'll just leave it. Let's try something like, okay, this is a high detection rate adware, so let's see how it deals with this. Okay, this one was cut by the signatures. Okay, this is a Trojan banker. Let's try this one out.
Okay, this one was caught as well. Okay, this is a low detection rate Trojan. Let's see how Trustboard deals with this. Wasn't caught by the web blocking. Okay, so this one successfully ran. No alerts from Trustport. Hmm, let's take a look at this one. Looks like some fake alert Trojan. Really low detection rate one. You can see just uh, three engines caught this. And Trustport isn't one of them. Here's another Trojan banker. And it's okay, this one was caught by the application inspector. And it wants me to block this application. I'll do that. Okay. So that one was partially blocked. Now this is another Trojan. Let's see what Trustboard does with it. Okay, this one was caught. This is a really high detection rate file. Should be caught by the signatures. And it is caught. Here's another high detection rate Trojan. I'm expecting the web blocking to get that and it's cut. Okay, I don't want to try some really low detection rate CADware because their detection may be controversial. Some people might think it's malware, some might think otherwise. I don't really want to get into all that mess, so I'll stay away from anything that is adware and has a detection rate of below 8 or something like that. Okay, this is some kind of spyware and it's uh, kind of like stuck. I don't know what to do with it. Here's some kind of uh, backdoor maybe. And it's cut. Here's the Trojan Delphi. It's cut by almost all the engines. Surprised to see the web blocker didn't get that. Okay, this one was cut. Okay, here's a firewall alert. Block this application. Okay, it wants me to block it, so I'll block it. So we've tried out quite a few files. Let's try out this Win32 Trojan. However, more, most chances are it's a false positive. Uh, it's too huge to be a Trojan really, so false positive most probably. Okay, what else have we got in here? Let's try out some of this adware. This one's kind of like stock, so I'll leave that out. We have tried quite a lot of stuff, and so far I think a couple of stuff has uh, gone through. I don't know if they're malware or not. I'll have to wait to find out. But most of the major things were just blocked, so not too bad. Let's 
try out this one. I don't remember if I tried this out. It's a moderate detection rate trojan and it's blocked. Let's try one of these adware. It's not really high detection rate, but I'll try it out anyway. Let's see if it does anything suspicious. Okay, it's the Babylon toolbar again. Now, what do I do here? It's asking me whether or not to install all this stuff. I guess I'll uncheck everything, and if it still does something suspicious, then I'm going to call it adware. Okay, here's some file. So I guess I'll run this and uh, I'll wait for this to... Exactly, I'm not exactly going to run this because it's too big. Neither am I going to run this 288 megs of garbage, really. So let's just try one more link before we call this over. Here we go. Here's a low detection rate Trojan, 10 out of 38. That should be a good one. See if Trustport catches it. Let's try out one more. This will be the last, I guess. Something low detection rate. Okay, let's try out Trojan Casey or whatever it's called. Okay, this one got caught, Trojan, Generic, Hafarian, Casey, but the last one is uh, running, and let's see if Trustport's, uh, okay, so this is the application inspector. It looks more like uh, an intrusion prevention rather than a behavior blocker. So whatever it is, it seems to be doing a pretty decent job. So now I'll just uh, run Norton Power Razor and I'll show you guys the results. Norton Power Razor hasn't found anything, so I'll just do a scan with Malwarebytes and I'll be right back. Malwarebytes has just finished scanning and it's found a single threat. And there you go. This is a uh, Trojan fake. Uh, MS and it's located in C, Windows, Microsoft, Net Framework, etc., etc. So I'd call it a thread because I'm using Malwarebytes as my, you know, second opinion. So if you don't trust Malwarebytes, you think it might be a false positive, it's up to you. But I'd say it is one miss by Trustport. So Hope you guys enjoyed this little review. Trustport did a pretty decent job. However, I think it has still a little bit of work to do on its signatures. And its zero-day uh, blocking is still not foolproof. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little review. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later.